got our second big old crap here today, sniping with a Pruitt hair jig. See if I can get my cameras on. We done figured out how to catch them. We just caught two slab crappers sniping with a Pruitt hair jig. What we just done on Lake Murray. And we might be done come into something here. What I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see if we can find some more of them. Found some in a creek out here. And they want to bite. We can get on them. I think we can catch them. We caught two slabs. Sure did. More out there too. There's two more. Glad y'all could be with me on another episode of loving life with the old fisherman. And I think we gonna catch some fish. I went for 500 yards, didn't see a fish, and I got on some up in here. Up in the creek, the water temperature is 56 degrees, and they starting to stir a little bit around here. And we caught two just boom, boom, right off the bat. Might not get another bite. We sure did. Let's see if we can find some more of them. Missed them. Get right out there. Hey, Paul. Right there. He kind of won. He looked at it. He didn't take it though. Yeah, got him. Right under the water. Big one. Big one. Big one. Right under the water. Oh, my big one. Look at that. Look at that. What a crappy. Late Murray slabs. What that is? Boy, he sucked it down, took someone. He wanted it. You see him? Big old nice slabs. Late Murray slab on a hair jig. It's about a 30 second hair jig. And they shallow. These fish are shallow. Sniping on Late Murray. Warm sunshine, dingy water. They're going to be up to the top. If you can find the right place and, and find something scattered around, sunning, you can have your good time sniping. That's three. That's promising. Folks, we got another big one. I mean a big one. I mean a monster. This is a monster crap here. I mean a monster. Hey, they want to grab it. Look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him. That, my friend, is a slab. Mm. That, my friend, is a good two pound 
Lake Murray thin crappie. Big difference in this crappie and the ones in Monticello, but look at that, he's two pounds. He's a big one. We finally caught a nut, and boy, I'm gonna tell you right now, they hard to catch. There's no doubt. They are hard to catch. We got three nice ones, though. A four nice ones, excuse me. We got four nice ones on that hair jig. Finally throw it on the right spot. You gotta put it on him for it to bite it. He won't bite it. They'll hit the hair jig if you put it right on him. With no lead, <coughs> they don't want no lead. They ain't under the water much. Wind's blowing as hard to hold this boat and cast. Right up here in front of me is, is uh, there's three or four more of them. Let's see if we can catch one of them. Right out there. Didn't quite make it to them. <laughs> Casting this light thing is the problem. right by him. Didn't take it. Doesn't nothing. Got a nothing. Got a nothing. Oh my. Got a nothing. Got to love it. That's five. That's a good one too. There's some big ones out in here. I mean big ones. Oh Lord, he's going around the trolling boat. Big ones. Big ones. Look at that one crap. Huh? Look at that one crap. I mean a whopper. Look at the size. Both of them crappies are monsters. Look at him. They're just now moving in. Look at that. Look at that. What a crappie. Oh, my goodness. What? I think that's six. I ain't sure. Five or six. Hey, we the see kitchen nut. Hey, we might have it going on now. We're going to have to do something. We can't cast this thing. In this wind, I can't cast it. I can't put lead on it. They won't hit it with lead on it. We got to be able to cast it. He's still there too. Right. Oh, he hit at it. He hit at it. He hit the hit. Got it. Got him. Got him digging. Big one, big one. He ain't as big as last one, but he's a pound and a half. He's a pound and a half. Oh my, he's a pound and a half. Look at that, huh? What I'm talking about, he run after it. You got to love it when they run after it. That wind's getting up bad. Look at that, beautiful crap, huh? Snipe. I apologize not having the camera on my on my fish find up here. I just ain't got time to do that. And it's aggravating. It works half time, half time it don't work. See, we found a couple more. They starting to bite a little bit. We might mess around and catch a lemon out in here. You never know. This one right there. Right there. Unless that's that darn buoy I'm seeing. Might have been the buoy. No, it ain't the buoy. That's fish. It's fish in the, around that buoy.
I don't know if there's something around it. I'm just reading that book. I don't know. I don't think nothing around it. I think I'm just reading the buoy. No, ain't that's crappy coming out now. I seen him. We got him. He was around that buoy, y'all. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I seen him come out after it. He's around that buoy. Big one too, buddy. I mean a big one. He's around that buoy. <laughs> Look at that. I read the shade of the buoy. I don't know. <clears throat> Got another good one, I'll tell you that. We got a fine one right there. They're hitting that little jig now. They're killing it. Look at that. Huh? Slabs. Every darn one of them slabs. They ain't no little ones. They slabs. We done come into something here. Yeah. Like you read about and where they catch them in Slab Magazine. What? Took some of that, but we got we we getting on it now. Hmm. Get back. I seen a couple of fish right up under that buoy, like the shade. They was up there, the shade of that buoy. That's what I thought they was doing. Collecting around that buoy. That ball sitting on surface. Let's see if there's any more up there. When I threw in it, he run out after. Ain't that something? There's something else in there. I'm gonna throw nothing in there. Right on it. Let's see what happens. I believe it's more, more crap is by that buoy. That's what I believe. Let's throw back out there and see if we can get one on that side. It don't look like nothing running out this time. I threw right by it. They didn't run out. That one was there and that was it. I don't know. Nothing's in there running out. He didn't take it though. Well, there's nothing around that thing. I believe some crap is around that thing. Boy, you might need to put a little cork on that thing and twitch it right by it. What I'm thinking. I believe we can catch him right there. It's definitely crappy. Another crappy by the... I don't know why, but he is. Might not catch him. Might be one by that other buoy. Might be already thrown by these buoys. Mess in, we don't want that. This real, it will mess up the whole world. Hey, we had a crap hit. Dad, blame it. One was on it, following it out. I ain't believing that. I'm telling you, it's more crap by that buoy. They're hanging by that buoy. You know what? I'm tempted to put a cork on that thing. Let it sit by it. Twitch it. It's three crappies by that buoy. I'm telling you, three or four. I'm thinking cart would be the way to go there. <clears throat> what I'm thinking. I know what I'm seeing. There's still fish there. Definitely still fish there. There he is. Got him. I'm telling you, they, they hang him by that buoy out there. Lord have mercy. Look at here. What a crappy. Huh? Oh, 
he got off. Golly, um, that was a slab he got off. Jeez, reach. They buy that darn buoy out there, y'all. We gone. This crab is around that ball right there, folks. It's like it was on the other one over there. If I can just catch him. There you go. Yeah, I just told you this crab is around it. <clears throat> We're gonna figure something out here. That's a big one. That is a big one. Hey, day, that's a big one. Around these balls. I don't know why, but they're around these balls. That's a monster crab. Around a darn buoy. Believe that or not. I seen them die. Look at that water crab. <coughs> Look at that water crab. You're talking slab bushes, son. <coughs> monster crabbies. The kind you read about. And monster crap in magazine, there, buddy. Look at the size of that crap. You told my beer. That, my friend, is a monster. <coughs> Run that ball. Hey, folks, we got our first crap here today. We got our first crap here today. He's a slab, too, buddy. He is a slab. It took me a while, but I finally found a couple. You see him, a two pound. <clears throat> you see him? Hey. We uh, we caught, I think it was eight yesterday, like that bigger. Today, we're gonna try to catch some more. We using a Pruitt hair jig with an eight pound test braid line, a swivel going down to six pound test line at the bottom. Pruitt jig, you see it right there. It's a little hair jig tied. That was the first crappies I've seen today and we caught one of them. Get another camera on. One of the cameras did not come on. But anyhow, that was a nice one. The first one of the day. Let's see if we can spot another There ain't many out here. That's the problem. Not yet. I might be a little early. I went through the whole area and didn't find a fish, doubled back and found two, three, and throw it on me and caught one of them. What I'm trying to do is throw past them and drink it to them. It's gobs of shad out here. And uh, when we see a fish, all we're doing is trying to throw past them and pull through them. That's all we're doing. Got a little C30 reel. Seven ball bearing reel. It's not the ten ball bearing. It's the cheaper version of a President reel. Fluger. Fluger makes a lot of different versions. They got a cheaper version. That's the cheaper version. Ten ball bearings would be the most expensive one. See if we can get you I'm sure we can. It's going to have to be a, a cat and mouse game. You just ease around till you spot one. The problem is you can't go too fast. Once you get around some, you got to go really slow. 
Because if you go too fast, you're going to spook them. Hopefully there'll be some more come in and move through here. It's like a passageway. As they head to shallower waters. Yesterday I had um, full carbon line on it and I was having a hard time so I put braid on it where I could cast it just a little bit farther. Right, there's a fish right there. I don't know what kind of year. I don't think we're going to get him. He's too close to the boat. Once they get close to the boat, they see the boat and they run. I got my fish finder set on 55 foot out and 20 foot deep. The water right now is 16 something. bite and put it right on him. It didn't take day yet. We got him. We got him. I fixed it. I put it right on him. He didn't take it. We got him. We got him. We got him. About time. We got him. Look at that slab ooze. What? You see him? You see him. That's two. Took a while, but that's two. I threw all over them fish. That's more right here in front of me. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got him. Good one, dude. Good one. He come got it. Good one. Oh, my. Good one. Got a boat right there I can't talk too loud. That's a good one right there, folks. That is a big old fish. That is a big old fish. That is a slab right there, folks. Slab. I don't get him in the boat. That is a slab fish right there, folks. Big one. Big one. Big one. A slab boost. He come and got that jig too, boy. He swallowed that sucker. He swallowed that sucker. Look at that. Look at that water fish. Big old slab. Big old slab. Grab it. I'm talking a big one. I'm talking a big one. Let's see if we catch nothing. That's a big one right there. There's a few scattered out there. They gone, they're hard to catch, sir. So. I can tell you that, they're hard to catch. There's some out there. Good ones, too. Just got to throw it right by his head to catch him. Yeah, no other way. Yeah, if it ain't by his head, you ain't gonna catch him. Got him. Ooh. 
Got him. You come up and got that thing too. I'll tell you that. Let it bend the hook back in. Finally took it. That took long enough. Finally took it. I mean, that took long enough. He didn't want to take it. Let me tell you, it's a big one, too. He's a big one. He's a big one. Got me a boy. He didn't want to take it. He finally took it. Good old fish right there, boys. Big old crappy. Hey, day. Had to keep messing with him to catch him, though. He did not want it. No, sir. He did not want it. Look at that. Beauty. Slab bushes.